Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha here in Qatar. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. So here is the lineup. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two fours who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And the Serbia starting 11. Well, 3-5-2 is a great system if you can get control of the midfield because your wing-backs can then play higher up the pitch and the front two can combine as a pair. But they need to dominate that central area. And the match begins. Toko Ekambi, Samuel Um Gue, Toko Ekambi, will he find the net? Under pressure, Abubakar moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Andre Frank Zomb. In it goes, an early goal, no wonder. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Mitrovic. Mitrovic. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Martin Hongla. Zivkovic, Vlaovic, and now passing it through. And a very good challenge. Samuel Um Gue. Abubakar. And the attack looks promising. Oh, breezing past him. Toko Ekambi. Vigorous defending. A 
Abubakar. Textbook defending inside the box. And simple for the keeper to just come and collect. And it might be. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Milinkovic Savic. Well, that is how to play advantage. And the ball with Milinkovic Savic. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Can he play it in? And space for him to cut in. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. But really sticking to the task defensively. Zivkovic. Tadic. Is it going to be? And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Martin Hongla. Now can they make something happen? And a throw in it's going to be. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Tadic. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he give them the advantage? And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Goal! So back underway at 2-1, tight contest here. Martin Hongla. Well, the pass not finding its target. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Milinkovic-Savic. 
That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Ongisa. And scope for them to produce something exciting. A fine reading of the situation. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Dusan Vlahovic. Losing possession a bit easily. Vlaovic. It's there for him. Still alive. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Samuel Um Goué. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Zivkovic and in possession Milenkovic the attack continues they're making considerable progress Vlaovic oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack breaking at pace Abubakar And with that, the attack fizzles out. Andrija Zivkovic. Milinkovic Savic. A really top notch piece of defending. Abubakar. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Plenty of support here. Vraovic. It looks promising. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Played over. And the referee says penalty. And this could really make certain. In it goes! Coley converted! Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Underway again with the score at 3 1. The electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Mikhail Milenkovic. the final whistle and they're going to have to come to terms with this a defeat not at all what they were planning for Stuart well Derek I thought it was a subpar performance from them just didn't look as sharp as normal and I don't think they deserved anything from the game they need to get a better performance in next time out well one player who certainly will have pleased as manager Dusan Tadic what did you make of his performance well he certainly played his part in the win today 
both with his penalty and general play, I thought he was a constant threat throughout the game.